So how do you take a photo or a piece of footage and a piece of type and how do you arrange them and align them so that they look visually pleasing to the eye? That's what we're going to talk about on today's video podcast. Hey there, and welcome to the video podcast, the Emotion Science Podcast. My name is Cameron, and welcome. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go over an interesting, very simple, but yet interesting technique to help you align things when you're designing in motion design. And this is like I said, simple, but very powerful. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start, we're gonna do two examples here. We're gonna start with photograph one, which you can see here is a photograph. If I scale this puppy down, it's just a road. Um, I found this on Unsplash, thought it was kind of cool. And um, I, I've got it sitting inside of a composition here. It's 1920 by 1080. Uh, the frame rate doesn't matter and the duration doesn't matter because this is about design. I'm teaching you about design here. And these are very simple principles that are very powerful to, to make your, your imagery look way more powerful, okay? So let's pretend like maybe this is a title sequence. We all love title sequences, so let's just type in the word strange days, and that works great for me. Um, you're gonna notice that my color here is because I when I did some testing, I sampled a little bit of blue from this color. You don't wanna have it be straight up white or straight up black. It's just gonna be kind of ugly for this. You know, maybe straight up white would kind of work. Um, but actually, if I was going to go white, I'd probably sample the whites in this, which is slightly off-white. But let's just go back and kind of pick a dark color, maybe like that. Um, and so we've got our text and we've got our image. And uh, here's the trick, okay? We're going to go up to After Effects, Preferences, Grids and Guides. And we're going to make sure under Proportional Grid right here that we want this to be set to 3 by 3. Yours may have a different number, but 3 by 3 is going to create a proportional grid that when we go down here to our grid and guide options and we turn on proportional grid, boom, there we go. We've got our once section one vertical, section two vertical, section three vertical. So it's it's a rule of thirds, right? And we've got a, a, a top section here, a middle section and a bottom section. So we've got rule of thirds horizontally and vertically. The rule of thirds tells me that this is a great focal point. This is a great focal, focal point, this is another great focal point, and this is a great focal point, okay? So our rule of thirds is on. Um, all we have to do now is just, let's just turn off our type, let's just focus on the image, okay? So let's just scale this image down to something like 70%. And it's really interesting to see this, this line in the road here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring this line up so it lines up with this rule of thirds line. And I'm gonna hold down shift and bring this over to the right here. And I'm just gonna have it move off into the distance right here at an interesting focal point, okay? So if I turn off my proportional grid, it already looks a little bit more interesting, okay? So let's turn it back on, let's turn on our text, and now let's make our text focus in on another interesting point, which is gonna be right here, okay? So we're aligning the center of this text with the center of this point, that blue color is not going to work, so let's go with a white, and boom, there we go. Look how beautiful that layout is, and it's very simple. I'm just using a very simple rule of thirds to create that. Now let's look at a second example. Now in this example, example two, I've got an interesting uh, house over a lake. It's very kind of spooky. So let's say this is a title sequence for like a maybe a horror film or, or a mystery film or something like that. So what are we going to do here? So we're going to arrange this image using the rule of thirds again. So if I turn on proportional grid right here, remember this is my rule of thirds because I went up to my preferences, grids and guides, and I said let's make it three by three. Okay. And all I have to do now is just find an interesting scale point. So let's maybe go up to maybe a scale of 80. And let's make this front door be our center point, right? So look at that. That's our, that's our interesting point of, or interesting focal point right there, okay? So it looks pretty good. Let's turn on our text. And we're using this uh, interesting Underwood 1913 font typeface, and I've typed in the word the haunting. And again, I don't want this to be sitting over here. Uh, that's not so great. But if we go the opposite, like we did on the first example, we go to the opposite uh, point of interest uh, for the rule of thirds, 
right here, look how interesting that looks, right? So let's find like a, let's find maybe a yellow, uh, maybe it's a little bit too white. Maybe let's just go a little bit more on the yellow side there and let's turn off a proportional grid. And look at that, that is beautiful because we're using a very simple technique called the rule of thirds. And if you use this, this technique when you're designing and you're laying out motion design, whether it be a photo or footage or typography or shape layers, whatever it is, use the rule of thirds to create better looking motion design. Thanks for watching the video blog. As always, I'm Cameron and this is Motion Science.